clothing, sports gear, toys, furniture, even spaceships. All these items have one thing in common. They're made from the same raw material. Can you guess what? Maybe it's easier if we add a wine stopper to the list. Everyone knows cork stoppers. It's probably the longest marriage between two industries in the world, cork and wine. But of course, there are applications that are also fantastic, like using cork in fashion, in sports, in automotive transports from trains to space shuttles because of the thermal properties of cork. Cork is an acoustic and thermal insulator Elastic, compressible, light, buoyant, impermeable to liquids and gases, resistant to high friction, 100% natural, reusable, recyclable. Cork's history almost mixes with the history of mankind. From Romans, Egyptians, Babylonians, Chinese, so many ancient civilizations started to discover the fantastic and wonderful cork properties 3,000 years before Christ. In ancient times, cork was used to make shoes, to build fishing gear, and to close amphorae. Later, in the 15th and 16th century, the Portuguese used it a lot in ships and in the naval construction. The monk Dom Perignon in the 18th century discovered the cork as a material to close the renowned and famous Champagne Dom Perignon. But where does cork come from? Cork is the bark of the cork oak trees. It's actually the outer layer of the bark. So when cork is harvested, no trees are cut down. The bark regenerates itself, which means it grows again. And every nine years, it will be ready for another round of extraction. They are very skilled people that do this process in order to protect the tree, to keep it in a good condition. And the lifespan of a tree can go to almost two centuries. So imagine how many times a tree can be harvested. And some of the products we are using today, it's from a tree that exists for more than one century. This ecosystem is unique to the Western Mediterranean basin. One third of its surface belongs to Portugal. We are talking about a uh, not spot for biodiversity, a barrier against desertification, an example how we can fight climate change. Corkhook Forest is an ecosystem that is highly resistant to forest fires. And why? Mostly due to the fact that these forests are managed by humans. In the case of there is any fire, there is a fast intervention from man to slow down the fire progression. And this is why Corkhook Forest, mainly in Portugal, and in Spain have not been impacted by the forest fires. Portugal has not only the world's largest cork oak forest, but it's also the largest cork producer, and wine stoppers are the cash cows. But some innovative applications are also being developed in the country. One of them is textile thread. The idea was to bring together two materials that can combine the resistance, the flexibility, so we join cotton together with uh, cork. It's a kind of coating of cork that penetrates on the cotton. And we have a remarkable cork yarn that was never made before, that can have several applications for clothing, for home textiles. Sometimes cork is visible in products, and other times it's hidden under the floor or inside the walls. Construction is the second largest uh, use and application for cork. We are seeing cork as an insulation, and it's uh, a great example how thermal and acoustic insulation are a good property of cork. All these items are made using the leftovers from the production of wine stoppers. When a natural cork stopper is punched, the rest of the plank is turned into a powder. The granules are later pressed together to form sheets. Almost every day we are seeing new applications for cork. The new generations want to have products that can be nice, beautiful, but above all, that will be sustainable. We use everything that we harvest from the tree, even the dust to produce energy. Nothing is wasted. 
Our goal and our ambition as an industry is to find new solutions, new products, and new ways to add value to this beautiful ecosystem. These large reels of cork are the raw material for other industries, like aerospace engineering. The spacecraft that put the man on the moon had cork in it. Since then, cork, thermal and anti-vibration shields have been used in several other missions, including to Mars. We are still discovering a lot about the properties and how to use cork. Until today, we couldn't copy, synthesize or produce something similar to cork in an artificial way. So how much further can cork go? The use of cork in cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, using the chemical properties of cork, the compounds that are still being studied and researched can be something big. Cork is the most versatile and the most unique product in the world. A lot is still to come.